All right, guys, as promised, this is my updated room tour video. Uh, we are in the living room of my apartment. Got my suite. Sorry, it's so dark in here. Got my, my Swamp Thing poster signed by Charles Soule. Uh, and then uh, the living room's here, and then all my, my books and stuff are right back here. Perks of living by yourself, you can put all your crap out in the living room. So, uh, starting with my single issues there on the right. I'm going to do separate videos for all of this stuff. I'm gonna I, I'm going to update my single issue collection, uh, do a new video for that, do a bookshelf tour, and uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna go into too uh, too in detail with some of this stuff. But like I said, uh, on the left there is all my single issues. The Justice League poster that I got from uh, where did I get that from? Walmart maybe for super cheap, and I love that poster. Um, anyway. All my single issues, there are five long boxes there. One long box on the, or a short box on the left that's sort of like my, um, the queue when new books have come in and stuff. And then on the bottom there, the three short boxes on the left are full. And then that one on the right is sort of full. When I, uh, when I get tired of books a little bit, they're not, I'm not as into them. I sort of pull them out and put them down there and, uh, that, box on the left is my Swamp Thing box, which I'm going to go through. I'm going to finally do a video and go through all my Swamp Thing books. Uh, I've been talking about doing that for, <clears throat> for a really long time, but anyway, single issues. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go through these in a little bit more detail in a separate video, but uh, it's all organized alphabetically. Uh, this is Age of Apocalypse stuff. That's why that's there. Um, and I don't, I don't have tabs for everything. It's just sort of uh, whatever. Uh, I, I just tab stuff until I ran out. Sort of stuff that I'm working on collecting um, right now. Aquaman, uh, BPRD, Super Into BPRD, um, Batman, and, and stuff like that. <clears throat> like I said, I won't go into, uh, into this in too much detail, but my Uncanny X-Men collection is over here. Uh, running the rest of this long box and all of that long box. Pro definitely the biggest chunk of my books. Uh, Swamp Thing only fills one short box, but uh, I'm a little more complete in terms of Swamp Thing stuff. There's only a few books left that I would like to get. So anyway, that's all the uh, the single issues stuff there on the left that needs to be um, rebagged. And then moving over here to my bookshelves. Uh, Ikea is awesome because you get uh, fairly nice furniture for super cheap and it comes in, you know, they come in smaller boxes it's all assemble stuff so i was able to get these in my apartment by myself i think they were probably what were they 60 bucks a piece so there's two of them there the side by side on the left these are all my novels uh my harry potter shelf i'm sure i've mentioned this before but harry potter is really what got me into into reading all the hardcovers on the right some other various books this isn't organized very well i'm just realizing Plus the uh, the new release of the soft covers in, in the box set, my fiance got that for me because she is awesome. And uh, down there's some nonfiction stuff. We got some other things down there on the bottom shelves. Stuff that needs to be sent out. CJ's package that I've been telling them that I'm going to send them for like three weeks. I will eventually at some point in time. On the left here is all my Mike McDowell stuff, which I will do a separate video going through this stuff in detail. But uh, the artist edition. Super awesome interstellar poster up there. That movie kicked ass. Uh, the library editions, some other trades, the BPRD Omnibuy in Baltimore hardcovers and stuff. Um, and yeah, and then over here are the goods. Here's the graphic novels and stuff. Um, some figures, my pop vinyls on the left. I have all five of the Guardians of the Galaxy plus uh, X-Force, Deadpool, Green Lantern, and Batman. The only ones I'm really looking for now, are, I want I would like to finish a Justice League. Um, see, picking those up whenever I see them. And then uh, all the trades. Uh, DC on, is on the left, moves into independent stuff, and then the independent stuff goes into Marvel on the bottom. I actually used to have a lot more, and I've sold quite a few. Uh... Something that I that I go through every once in a while is like sometimes I'm really into buying single issues and I buy them like crazy, like run fillers and stuff. And then other times all I want to do is buy trades. And then other times 
like right now, I'm sort of on a, uh, a key issue kick, so I'm not buying as many run fillers and more uh, single issues and stuff. So just kind of how it goes. I buy stuff, sell other stuff off, and uh, slowly, <laughs> I've slowly built all this stuff up. Uh, and one, I'll just say one thing, when you move and you have as much crap as I do, uh, it's a wake-up call for how much crap you actually have. These books were probably in like 10 or 11 like paper copy boxes plus all these boxes. It was a it was a pain in the ass to move it all. So uh so we'll see what I have to do when I have to move again, but anyway, thanks for watching guys. This is my my setup, oh, how all my crap looks in my apartment. Like I said, be on the lookout for some other video collection type videos, single issues, trades, my Magnolia stuff. I'll probably do a Swamp Thing video as well. And uh, and yeah, I also have some books coming in, some keys and some stuff like that. So that'll be my next back issue haul video. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll talk to you again soon.